Hey, hello. So, welcome. If you are here, I think you're probably here because you saw my script on TikTok and some people mentioned that they want to have access to it. So I thought I would share it. Um, to me, this is, for me, really my money money making machine. I don't think this strategy will be going out of style and this script will be going out of style anytime soon. And if you can't apply the strategy to Bitcoin, you can always apply it to something else. So I don't think this will ever be going out of fashion because fund managers are using it right now. And that's where I actually got this strategy from. So I've written everything from roughly what the strategy is trying to do all the way down to uh, how it's being used. Uh, and, and, I, and I hope that you'll be able to make good use of it. So let's start straight away and jump right into what this is. So let me just pull this up here. So let's first talk about what this does. So this script is basically a delta neutral strategy where you are shorting Bitcoin and you are longing a whole bunch of other assets. In this case, maybe Soul, Ada, Dot, Matic, Luna, Send, Avex, uh, and Vulcan Forge. So having, uh, sh by shorting Bitcoin, you would have a downward side hitch, even though altcoins tend to fall much harder because when the price rebounds, they tend to go up a lot higher. So let's take a look between the, maybe I can show it to you guys live here. So if we were to head down all the way till the time when Bitcoin was tanking, let's say during this period of time from the tip all the way down, Bitcoin was about 55% down during this period, uh, the May crash. And during the same period for Matic, it was down 73%. So realistically, despite the whole market being down huge amounts, and if you're on altcoins, you're down 70%. If you're on Bitcoin, you're down 55%. But if you were to apply this strategy, your overall portfolio will only be down 18%. Because when Bitcoin falls by 55%, you are in profit of 55%. And when Matic falls by 73%, you are down 73%. So you only, make, you only lose that difference. But here's the thing. When the market decides to move up, let's say just before, this is the peak of the bull market or very close to the peak. You can see that Bitcoin put a huge rally up 500%. Can I open this up? Bitcoin did a rally of 500%. And AVEX did a rally of 1,800%. So this means that you, you would be making the difference. So Bitcoin being down 500% means you are down, or Bitcoin going up 500% means you are down 500%. And if you're down 500%, that's a lot of money. But it's fine because how can you lose more than 100%, right? Well, AVEX is up 1,800%. And this is echoed with Matic and a few other coins. So, and like Solana as well. So, if you were longing all of these coins, you would be up 1,800%. So, realistically, you would be up the difference between these two, which is about 1,300%. But realistically, you would not be getting 1,300% because you would be rebalancing all the way up and you would have to at least rebalance five times because you have a 500% loss. But the rebalancing would occur all the way from up to down, up to down, up to down, up to down. Let's say you rebalance up here or up here is bigger. If you rebalance up here and the price shoots down, your Bitcoin shots are in profits, right? And then you would take your Bitcoin shots and you would throw it all the way into the altcoins because the script would automatically do that. So when the price bounces up and you rebalance again, you basically are in huge profits because you basically bought close to the dip. And the same thing happens again, it dips down, your shorts would be making money, you would rebalance and then it would move up. So this strategy does not completely remove the need to understand technicals and fundamentals to know where the market is going. But there is a strategy that I use, which is a brain date strategy, um, to simply just keep rebalancing. That's because when I'm when I'm in school, I don't have time to be always looking at the markets. This is one of the best way to still participate um, without having to worry too much. And my strategy is every time my net worth drops by five to eight percent, I would just rebalance. And every time my net worth increases by ten to twenty percent, I would just rebalance. And if I were to calculate my position and realize that I am a, a 5% loss, so assuming that I have $10,000, 
if I see that my net worth is now worth $9,500, I would rebalance. And if my net worth were to increase by 10%, I would rebalance it. And that would be when I'm at $11,000. Hello! Guest appearance! Surprise! Anyway, so we started recording our performance from August all the way to October. All of the tracking has been done on a Google Sheet. We only started, or I only managed to automate the, the script from August, I think. Yeah, so, so that's when we started to use the script. As you can see, everything is calculated on the 40th second, and it's still running all the way till today because it's a script. It runs automatically. I don't touch it. Yeah, history is where we see. So we can see that um, the initial one was a 6% profit, then it became 22, then 2.5, 8, 2.8, 12. So I, in, in one month, I rebalanced it six times. One, two, yeah, it's, it's, it's about six times. Actually, seven. You can't see this because this value, uh, well, I extracted, I took all the money out. So you couldn't, you can't see the, the final value, but the final value is around 60%. So that's the performance and the basic idea of the strategy. It's basically a delta neutral strategy. Um, hedge funds use it because I got this idea from someone dealing with hedge funds. So if you like it, um, watch my part two because part two is coming out maybe tomorrow or tonight. And that will teach you how to use and how to set up and how to use this strategy.